Now, if you get a little mixed up while I explain this, you can always run the run the video back or send me your question, whatever, okay? But on to the next thing. We're going to have, we've got to get another wire out of here over to the existing light switch. You remember? Power is going to come up to here. We're going to, we're going to imagine this is the ceiling um, junction box up in the ceiling. We've got power coming into it and we've got to get over to the light switch and the light switch is going to come back um, over to get into a light fixture. So how are we going to do all that? We're going to run it in here is what we're going to do. And we've got to you remember when I took the when I took the existing wire off of the out of the junction box over here. Yeah, that's where the junction box was. I loosened up that other wire. See that, that that cable right there? Well, it's not long enough to come over here now, is it? So I'm going to have to put another junction box over there and put another wire connected to that and come from there over to this box. Okay? Because why is that? The reason why is because I can't I can't get down into the existing light switch box, can I? I'm gonna I've got to tie into that other electrical line that's up here and I'm gonna come from here okay so we know I've got to get a new wire from here 12 2 with ground I've determined and the way I've determined that was I looked in the electrical sub panel box and the breaker was a 20 amp breaker for this whole area and on a 20 amp breaker you run 12 2 wire 12 gauge wire to that they have 12 gauge and also 14 gauge. That's your standard. And the 14 gauge is for 15 amp circuit breaker. And I can look in this wire and I can tell this wire is a little bit thicker and stouter than 14 gauge wires, a little bit thinner. Okay, so that's why I got 12 2 with ground at the store. And I'm going to use that. Now here's something else we got to do. We've got a ground wire. I was able to locate a ground wire and it was by that box. Let me pan this in. You see that copper wire? That was daisy chained up here, loop de loop de loop to all of the metal boxes. There was a metal box there and the tab was attached to the joist there and the copper wire was wrapped around a nail and then it was nailed in and then that goes over to the next box and it's wrapped around and gets nailed in and to the next box and the next box and the next box. What I'm going to do is I've got to cut that and because I've got enough room there I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. I'm going to splice it, put a, put a copper ground wire from there and I took some of my old wire and I've got it up here. I went ahead and stripped it strip the sheathing off. Remember that old wire I had? I'm going to use this right here. And I think this is going to be long enough. And I can use that for my ground wire. I'll splice it in over here. And then I'm going to come over to this new box that I'm going to put in. That way I can come up here and then all my new wiring I can attach to that ground wire. Okay? And then all my lights will be grounded. All right. So here, in summary, <laughs> it's just me talking some more here. Here's the power coming into this box, okay? We're gonna take another cable, 12-2 with ground, which is a black, white, and ground wire. We're going to attach that, and we're gonna go, and that's gonna go to the existing light switch. And you remember one leg of that is going down for power for the light switch. One leg is coming back up that is then going to control the lights. And so I've got those two wires are just going to be coming out of here. So then I'm going to take another cable 12 2 
with ground cable coming out of here and that particular one is going to go to the first light fixture and then each light fixture is daisy chained together boom to boom to boom to boom and it all has to be connected from this junction box okay now I got a fairly deep single gang junction box for that I'm gonna have a few wires in here and I'll explain that as I go okay I could have got a two gang box and got a blank plate for that for extra wire in there or whatever you know I could have done that too and another thing you could do if you ever use a junction box up in the ceiling you could you could use it for a junction box and maybe you can put a plug there too maybe you want a plug in your attic and you've got a plug there now you put a blank you know you put a cover plate on that and next time you come up here if it's close to your your crawl space you can plug in an extension cord a light trouble light whatever but this is at the end pretty close to the end of the house the far end of the crawl hole so I'm just gonna put a blank plate over that okay step by step follow me now